my front porch artists. Today we're going to make your mixed media sunflower Mother's Day card. In your kit you'll find your cardstock, two different colors of yellow cardstock, a half circle of newsprint looking paper, and a stem. You're going to go ahead and put the, um, the stem and the other pieces away for the beginning. Oh, you also have a greeting. And then we're just going to paint our background first with your watercolor paints. So in addition to the things that came in that envelope, you should have a little bit of water for your watercolors. And you might want some scissors if you want to cut your stem shorter than the one we gave you. And it might be good to have a pencil or a pen or a crayon or something just to mark the edge of where your um, the center of your sunflower is going to go. But that's up to you. You could also do it with paint. Whatever you have on hand works. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to paint a background. So on this, you will see that there's kind of a swishy blue background because it looks like a beautiful blue sky day. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I did it here. You can see the subtle colors are where I painted wet watercolor on wet paper. This over here where you can see more of the brush stroke was painted um, watercolor on dry paper. So whatever look you like best is fine, but it's kind of fun just to play with your watercolors. And see which look you like. So I'm going to use blue sky. You can use the lid of your watercolor tray to spread that out a little bit if you want to. And you can add a little water there. And then I'm going to add a little green to it. Honestly, it's just fun slopping around in the water. Even adults like that. So, okay, I guess I better get going here. So, I'm going to add some blue up here. And more blue here. And if you want to, you could even go and add green at the bottom so it looks like the ground. I didn't do that on the example picture, but I think that was, was a fun idea. And that green looks pretty, like it has a lot of blue in it. So I'm going to add some yellow because we know that yellow and blue make green. That's another fun thing you can try on the tray of your um, watercolors. It's just mixing some different colors. And then you can wipe it off when you're finished and it'll be all ready for the next time. So I'm going to make these meet in the middle because the ground always meets the sky. And here... And you can take more time with this. I'm doing it quickly just so we can move on to the other parts of this video. And then, all right, so here I have some ground and some middle and then the sky. And I'm finished with that, so I can put that aside. And then I'm going to Take a look at my card and decide where I want my sunflower to go. On the example here, I had used a crayon to draw in a stem. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that as I do it for you because after that I decided to add this fun ribbon. So um, you can add a stem with your crayon or with paint if you want to, but I'm not going to do that in this example. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build this up from the back forward. So with your two colors of cardstock, you can start tearing them into strips. I kind of like long strips because sunflowers have long petals. So I'm just holding it in one hand and pulling toward me with the other. And that one got kind of thick, so you can make it thinner if you want to. But it doesn't have to be any certain way. If you want to do a whole bunch of little ones and do it more like a mosaic, remember you are the artist. You can do your own technique and your own style. So, okay, these are gonna be my sunflower petals. Now I'm gonna decide where to make my sunflower. You can see in this one, this is a quarter of a circle. We give you a half circle to work with. So I could use my scissors, cut this piece in half and have two quarters. But I think to give it a little bit different look, I'm going to Put it like this on the side just for a little different example of how you can do this and but we're going to build it from the back forward because these petals are actually underneath 
the, um, the center. So I'm just gonna mark on here the edge. This is actually a pen, a pencil would be better, but I didn't have one with me. Just the very edge, just kind of an idea of where that's gonna go. So I have an idea here and I am going to Lots of glue down on here. And then start laying my strips down so that they come out like this. And you can do long ones and short ones. And I kind of like to kind of mix up the light and the darker orange colors. And just build it up like this. Now I'm tearing some of the ends off to make points. You can choose whether you want to or not, but that's what I'm doing here. And then we'll cover all these edges. And then I'm gonna add some more glue because I want layers and layers of petals because a sunflower in real life has lots of petals. Oh, I need some of the lighter color in there. I've got lots of darks. That one doesn't have a jaggy edge, so I'm going to replace that with one that does. You can go back in with your glue stick again. Terry and I have so much fun doing these projects. We say ages three through eight, but mm, we are slightly older than that, and we have a good old time doing them. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little more glue on top and then I'm going to put my sunflower on there. Now you can see how it looks like a sunflower. Cool. All right, and that will dry fairly quickly. Just use your finger and smooth it all down. Now this piece doesn't have a pointy edge on it, so I'm gonna give it one. Here we go. And my glue stick starts off purple and dries clear. You might have a colored one and you might have a clear one, but they all dry clear in the end. All right, so now where do I want my stem to go? Now the stem is made out of this ribbon with leaves on it, and we know leaves reach up to point the sun, so make sure you put your ribbon on going up. So using the glue that came in your kit, you can just um, get a um, the Q-tip that came in your kit, or I'm going to use the end of my print. Uh, paintbrush because I forgot to bring a q-tip in here with me. And you just need a little line of glue. You don't need much. This is craft glue and it sticks really well. And you can just kind of make a dotted line down here like this. It doesn't even have to be a solid line. Just be sure to wipe that off before it dries. And then I'm going to lay my ribbon right in that line like that and just tap it down a little bit so it stays. I'm gonna fold the leaf back over it and then see how it hangs off the end? I'm gonna leave it that way until it dries. And when it dries, I'll go back in with scissors and then I'll trim it off. And then I can also look at the back and see if anything hangs over the edge. You can trim that if you want to, or you can leave it, it really doesn't matter. There's a little bit of extra space around the card for the envelope um, to fit over it. So. Um, so there you go. Isn't that cool? I love that. It's such a happy looking flower. Now we gave you a greeting. You can use this if you want to. It says happy Mother's Day to an amazing mom because I know you all have amazing moms. Um, you can put it on the back of your card with a glue stick or you can come up with your own greeting and not use this at all. Um, so it's totally up to you, but you can put glue stick on the back and glue that down and hold it down. And then you could go back in and you could paint a few more um, things on the back side of this. Let's see. Let's do something real quick here. I'll show you a quick way to do another kind of sunflower. Oops, put that in the orange. I didn't mean to. So if you want to, you can just lay the edge of your brush down like that. And that makes sunflower petals. And just keep going down like that. And there you get the edge of the petals. And then in the middle of the sunflower are sunflower seeds. And so I'm just gonna take brown and go in like that. Now this paint is pretty runny. So I would 
make sure it stays flat. And then I went in with a little bit of black. And oh, it's just so hard to stop. This is so much fun. Then you can put a little stem. So then you have a little hand-drawn sunflower on the back, but that's just a little bonus. You don't have to do that. So here we go. We hope you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day celebrating your moms, and I know she's going to love her card. Have a great day.